What difference does an ear of corn make to this community? That's a great question. Sink, sinking, sinking, one, two, three. The ship is sinking. Hey, Colin Hansen here with Greater Grand Forks is way cooler than you think. We're at the Amarato Corn Feed. My name is Amy Stromsett. Number one, the corn feed I really think brings awareness to Amarato. Each year we've added a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and it's really grown. Now we have over a thousand people that come and go throughout the day. Welcome to the Amarato corn feed. Uh, tell us who you are. Yeah, my name is G and heard about the corn feed and figured I'd bring the kids out for a good time. It takes over a hundred dozen ear cobs of corn, which is 1,200 ears of corn and we go through about 34 pounds of butter to make this event fly. When you're eating corn, what's the best part? Is it the corn or the butter? The corn, butter. It's better, the corn or the butter? Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the butter. Butter and salt. I really like corn, but when I try to with butter, everything changes. The Amarato Corn Feed doesn't happen without all of the volunteers that we have. We have a great community, tight-knit group that gets together, puts on this huge event. Very special guest with us today. Uh, who are you? Colonel Mays. You are the winner of the Corn Trucking Competition. I think Amarito is a little bit more hidden than uh, what we'd like it to be. Um, not many people come through Amarito. A lot of people really don't know what downtown Amarato has to offer or even that there's a school in Amarato. So originally when we drove past Amarato, all we saw was an overpass, so it's a little hard to see the actual city. There's a whole other section of town across the railroad tracks that a lot of people just aren't familiar with. So I grew up in a small town, uh, one just like Amarato. It's, it's disappointing that those who are driving along Highway 2 you drive right by Amarado and all they see is an off-ramp and the subway. I met so many people who found Amarado today in the corn feed for the first time and they were excited, surprised that this community was hidden back here and uh, are coming back next year. My hope is that one day you can drive down Highway 2, take the off-ramp into Amarado and go just beyond the railroad tracks and also discover this great community. It's a little bigger than we initially thought it was. My name is Brandon Bombach. The corn feed is more than anything an identity builder. I like the, the bouncy houses and the fire hose thing. It helps us know that we have something worth celebrating. But once you get across the tracks, you're going to find a whole other part of the city where there's plenty of residences. For it's a really nice town, it's a pretty town. We take one day and we throw a party with the centerpiece of that it's free corn for any and all. We'll definitely do it again next year. we got a great school. My family moved here back when I was in fifth grade. As mayor of Amarato, I'd like to see some younger families moving into town. But my wife and I bought the home I grew up in from my parents in 2016, and now we raise our four kids there. You know, for us, these ears of corn really just represent everybody doing their part to make this a place we love, our home where we love to live. Well, the only question is, what will your family love about living in Emirato? While I love the corn, I think the butter's my favorite.